Hello everyone and welcome. In this new video, we will discover how to send a lesson that has been recorded on Zoom automatically to the different participants registered for this lesson by WhatsApp. Needless to say, the tool we're going to use is called Pabli. Pabli is an automation application that allows you to interconnect many online software around the world. So before showing you this in practice, make sure you already subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell to be informed of the next videos once it is done. We meet right away for practice. So let's see in practice how we can send the recordings of a Zoom meeting on WhatsApp. Let's say you're a teacher and you've recorded a lesson. Now, no matter where your learners are, you want to send everyone a copy of that recording via WhatsApp. For this, if we had to copy each parameter of the recording to share it with each learner in particular, it would be tiring. I propose a better solution, which is the following. Every time a recording is completed in your Zoom account, it will be automatically sent to all learners in your class by WhatsApp. All you have to do is create an interconnection between Zoom and WhatsApp using the automation tool Pabli Connect. Let me show you how. In your Zoom account, go to Meeting and we will choose for example the Drawing Class Meeting and click Start to start recording. So there, the meeting will begin and we will, as an example, learn some geometric shapes on the whiteboards tool. Assuming I've already taught everything, I'll end the meeting by clicking end and then end meeting for all. The recording of this particular meeting will be sent to each learner by WhatsApp in this form with the proper name of each and a clickable link that redirects to the Zoom recording. So to create this automation, you have to establish a connection between WhatsApp and Zoom. So let's start the process. We will go to Pabli Connect and on the home page, if you do not have an account yet, you can click on the blue sign up free button and register for free and benefit from 100 free tasks. If you already have an account, simply click on sign in and then on access now in the Pabli Connect square to land on the Pabli Connect dashboard. To get started, you click the Create Workflow button and then give your automation a name. For example, sending Zoom recordings to WhatsApp. Then you validate on the Create button. You will see two blocks appear on the screen. The first is what is called the trigger and the second is the action. The trigger is the event that will occur and the second is the action that will be performed. That is when such an event will occur. Do this. For example, if a form is submitted, send an email. For our case, we click on the shutter button and look for Zoom to connect it to the Pabli Connect software and capture the recording information. In the Trigger Event section, select Configure Webhooks and a URL will be generated automatically. To integrate Zoom, we will copy the URL, then go to our Zoom account. Once on the Zoom dashboard, we will go down the menu on the left to Advance and then click on the App Marketplace. Then we click on Develop and then on Build App. In the window that will appear, go to the Webhook Only square and click on Create. Then we give a name to our application, for example, Zoom Recordings to WhatsApp, and we validate on Create. Then we will fill in some information. At the level of company name, we will enter Pabli. As a name, we will put dummy name. At the email level, we put, for example, admin at pablituts.com. Then we click on Continue. On the next page, we activate the Event Subscriptions button and click on Add Event Subscription. There, we will paste the URL that we copied on Pabli at this level and then click on Add Event. On the window that opens, click on Recording and select All Records Have Completed and we validate everything on Done. And finally on Save to save the application. We click on continue to close and we can see the confirmation message that our application is activated. If we go back to Pabli, we can see that the software is waiting for a response from the newly created application on Zoom. To send this answer on Pabli, we must do a simulation on Zoom. To do this, we go back to Zoom and start a meeting. For example, the drawing class meeting. Click on start. 
We have a dialog box that informs us that the meeting is recorded. We click on Got It. This means that we will be able to send the recording of this particular meeting to all learners. We will start the class, display the board, and draw some geometric shapes. Then we will stop the meeting by clicking on End, and then on End Meeting for All. We now go back to our dashboard to check that the recording is there in the Recordings section. And as you can see, the recording is being processed. Once this is over, Pabli will automatically retrieve the meeting information. As you can see, all the information is listed in Pabli, the name of the meeting, and you can also see the link to the recording of the meeting. If you copy it and open it, you will see that it is exactly the recording of the meeting that you just finished. So, we're done with the first step of automation. Subsequently, we must retrieve the contact information of the learners. To do this, click on the action block and choose the Zoom application again. This time, we select list meeting registrants at the action event level and then click on connect now we choose add new connection and click on connect with zoom if we have never had to connect zoom to pabli since our zoom account is already open this will automatically log in for my part i have already had to connect zoom so i will choose select existing connection and click save to connect the zoom account here we are asked for some information don't worry, because all the information that will be required already exists. Just tell Pabli where to retrieve it. So at the meeting ID level, we select Zoom, configure webhooks, and in the list that appears, we choose the ID of the meeting that has been provided. We leave the register status field on approved, and we disable the simple response button, after which we click on save and send test request. We can see that Pabli has retrieved the information of three participants, and if we enlarge here, we can see the information of each of them. But the problem is that it is a little complicated to decipher, so to format this information and display it in an easily readable format, we click on the More to add an action, and we will choose Iterator. In the Choose Array field, we will select the attribute of the data we want to reformat, namely Registrants. Then we click on save and send test request. Now we have the same information but in a more readable form. This step is also completed. What do we do afterwards is what. Since we have several records in our account, we would not want to send all of our recordings but rather a particular one. In this case, a condition must be defined. We will click on the plus again and choose filter. There I could tell the system that if the meeting ID is equivalent to this, then you send the message, otherwise you don't send. Click on save and send test request to see the system response. There we have an error. Ah, yes, it is because during the copy we omitted to remove the spaces on the number of the ID. So we correct this and we click again on the test button. Now the condition is validated. So the recordings will be sent when this particular meeting will end. Finally, we will send a WhatsApp message containing the link of the recording of the message. To do this, we click on the most, and then we choose WhatsApp Cloud API. In the Event Action Control, select Send Template Message. Click on Connect. If this is your first connection, you will be asked for three parameters. To have this information, you have to go to developers.facebook.com. I will add the link in the description of the video. On the home page, I will log into my account and I will have my dashboard. There, you can see the different applications that I have already created. And if you do not yet have what is normal, you must click on the Create App button and follow the instructions. We will not create a new application in this video, but exploit an existing one. So, we will click on the application of our choice. Then in the menu on the left, we click on WhatsApp and then on Getting Started and there we will have access to the information that will allow us to connect to Pabli. We copy the token and paste it into Pabli, then the ID of the phone number and finally the ID of the WhatsApp business account. Once it's done, we click on save. Well, now that it is connected, we will be able to choose the name of the message template we want to use, in this case, Zoom underscore recording. Then you should know that it is you who created these post templates and when they are created, they must first be approved by Facebook before being used. 
to create a new message template, it's quite simple. You come back to Facebook and then at step 2, you will see this link. You click on it and you can see the different message templates I have created and each of them has been approved. We can also see the model that I will use in this video and as you can see, here is an overview of the model. Here in the body, you see that instead of the name and the link, I put variables that will be automatically replaced by the values that Pabli will have retrieved in Zoom. The second and third field are left by default, and at the level of the recipient mobile number field, we will choose the value that corresponds to the phone number in the list, and we must make sure that the number has the country code with the plus as mentioned here. Since when entering the number of the participants, I did not add the country code, I will do it manually here. We still have three fields to fill in and if you remember in my message template, I use three variables. I will therefore enter the real values of these variables in the remaining fields and in order. In the first field, we have the name and surname of the participant that we will always retrieve in the values of iterator, which is in the list. In the second field, we will enter the name of the meeting. We click, we select Zoom, configure webhooks, and then we choose the name of the meeting that was retrieved on Zoom. In the third field, we will enter the link to the recording of the meeting. We click, we select Zoom, configure webhooks, and then we select the link of the recording, which is right here. As soon as it's done, we click on save and send test request and see if everything works well. Everything works wonderfully and we can also open WhatsApp and see that we have indeed received a message from Pabli. If we open it, we see that it is our message model that has been used and the variables have effectively been replaced by the actual data. And if you click on the link, you are immediately redirected to the recording of the meeting. Now we can close Facebook and Blow because the configuration of our PLC is successfully completed. We have reached the end of this video. If you liked it, thank you for sharing it as much as possible and leaving us a little blue thumb to show your support. I wish you success in your life and do not hesitate to leave us your questions in the comment section. We will see you very soon in a new video.